right, Suryoku versus Nonentity. It's going to be Elisa versus Zafina. I wonder if this is going to go to fight Soldier Luka in the Losers Final and then see who's going to go against Cube for the Grand Final. Nice sidestep from Soryoku. Gets him in a launcher from behind. And he gets the first round. All right, they're both putting a lot of pressure right now. Oof. Not any was trying to do the down back three, which could have went into a launcher from there. Oh, he still catches Sorioku in a launcher here with the claw against the wall. That's going to be it. Not any gets the first round. But yeah, I believe he was trying to do the bound down back three kick that goes into a launcher with forward down two. So from there, he could get him in a launcher, but he doesn't do that one as much. That's definitely one that I've used more with Safina. He prefers that pickup that he was trying to do right now with the claw. All right, staying in Trilantula. Back in Mantis. All right, Sorioku gets him in a counter hit. Goes for the rage drive. Nice block on the rage drive, but what's it going to be with the chainsaw? Ryoku's one point away from taking the set. What's not any gonna do here? Does not want to get backed against that wall. Tries to go for the Scarecrow 4. But it just wasn't gonna happen. Soryoku putting a lot of pressure on Nanadi here, trying to keep him backed against the wall. Nanadi is enraged. What is he going to do? He catches him out of it, beats him in the double snake edge against the wall, though. He wasn't able to get a full combo because of the wall. It's going to be very close. Oh, whiffs hard on that rage drive. That definitely cost him. Soryoku gets the round, and he gets the first set. Sometimes you want to predict your opponent with your rage drive and, and think that they're going to be going into it. And if they walk into it, it'll it'll definitely work out for you. But that time for Nanadi, it was not a good prediction. It left him way too open. Alisa gives her her head and bam, quarter of his health gone. Tried to psych him out, making him think he was going to go low. Sorioku gets the launcher and he gets the first round. Donadi's <laughs> really got to be careful here. Doesn't want Sorioku to get that two set lead. He's going to have to do a lot of work to get out of it. Sorioku being amazing defensive player here. Blocking both the mids and the lows and predicting Donadi very well. Look at that block on low. He's ready for it. Mm. Nice block on low from the chainsaws from Nanadi there. Is it going to be enough? He tries to go for the pickup, but it wasn't going to happen. Nice sidestep from Suryoku. Oh, that's the launcher I was talking about. That's the down back three into wait. No, that's a different one. I'm going to have to double check that one for you guys. That's the Mantis down back three. Okay, Nanini gets him in a good launcher here. Trying to even this out right now. He's on the second round. If he can get this next one, he can tie it up. 
We also got some Guilty Gear players coming in, getting ready to practice for their tournament that's coming up as well. They're both doing a really go good job of defending, but Suryoku ties it up. Can Nanini get this next one and tie it and even out the score, or is Suryoku going to have the advantage here with two sets? I think I remember the combo now. I'm pretty sure it's Zafina's Mantis down back three, four. I believe that was the launcher that he used. Again, I could be wrong. Oh, what a trade. It's going to go down to this nice block on the rage drive. Now Nanani's in rage. He's got a good combo going. He gets the last hit in, and Nanani ties it up. It's one to one in the set right now. They're gonna stick with the same stage, same characters. All right, goes into Starfish, back into Mantis, trying to get that launcher once again. Nice launcher from Nanani, his bread and butter right there. Wasn't able to get the last hit in, but that's okay. Going for the forward down one. Definitely one of Zafina's best moves for a jab. Blocks the chainsaws. Oof. It's gonna be tough, it's gonna be close. And Suryoko gets it with the low chainsaw. Nice counter hit crush. Takes him to the wall. Oh! Tries to go for the sweep, but not any. Wasn't able to get that one. Suryoku so putting a lot of pressure with the chainsaws here. Nice. Goes into the starfish. Gets him out of the chainsaw stance. Goes for the rage drive. If he can get this combo going. Oh, but he wasn't able to keep it going with the counter crush. Suryoku gets the round. Normally, if not Nanani does go for that armor break counter crush hit, he does it twice and he can lift them into a combo from there. But he just wasn't able to get it going. Look at the launcher from Suryoku now. Gets him in a spring jump. This time catches him in the launcher. Oh, but Suryoku takes it two to one so far. They're still going, it is best out of five. Can not any tie this up. It was his rage drive, not the power crush. Hmm. Going again, Suryoku staying low this time. It's him in a counter hit. Nice sidestep from Suryoku. Taking this to the wall. Nice block on the low chainsaw, but with the high kick, Suryoku gets the round. Right. 
goes for the slide, tries to get that launcher again, goes for the crush, takes it to the wall, catches him with a low sweep. He's one hit away, blocks the rage drive, and with that, Nanini gets the round. I don't see him use that move very much. I'm not actually sure how he does that move, but that like backwards cartwheel is working out for him. Nice, gets him the spring kick. That gives him an opportunity here. But Suryoku sidesteps. His sidestep timing is just so on point. Gets him with the low chainsaws twice. Goes for the third one, not any blocks at this time. And with the head, Suryoku is at game point. Goes for the low chainsaws. Not any wasn't able to counter it. Got 80s music going on in the background. All right, goes for the rage drive. What's the mix up gonna be? This time he does get the crush into the combo, but it wasn't enough to kill. Blocks the rage drive. Sorioku goes with lows and he takes it three to one. Not Andy was.